A couple of local boys race their way to the top at a BMX World Championship, and now they bring home two world titles. From Bakersfield alone, 11 riders qualified to represent Team USA. But only Peter Cote and Nathan Kitchen placed in their age groups. Eyewitness News reporter Lexi Wilson has a story of how they geared up, got speed, and left the competition in the dust. Those two cool kids are Peter and Nathan, and they go fast. Like 25 to 30. They're only 12 and 13 years old, but they have world, world titles. Peter and Nathan represented Team USA in the World Championship, competing against kids from 48 other countries, but they never got intimidated. It's good because sometimes people can call you an underdog. It's because you're from a, such a small city and people can think that your track's not that good, so you're not, you're not that good of a rider, but they're wrong. They competed against over 50 riders in the last round and came out on top. Um, I just try to think of nothing and just focus and visualize my lap. Just race my race. For several months, the two boys came to this track field right behind me here in Bakersfield, got their goggles, geared up, and had intensive practices here on the field and at home to win those world titles. Nathan started riding when he was three years old. He's the youngest to bring home a title to Bakersfield. But it's not the win or the thrill that motivates these boys. For Nathan, it's his dad's support. He changes everything on my bike, like my gearing, grips, bars, all that. So if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have a world championship title. For Peter, it goes deeper. Well, I try to race for my sister because she has cystic fibrosis. And um, yeah, I race for her. I've been racing for her my whole life. While both of them push their pedals for different reasons, they are racing towards the same finish line. I want to turn pro, elite men, and then win back-to-back -back titles, world championship. Well, I'm hoping to go to the Olympics one day and race for my country. Lexi Wilson, Eyewitness News.